who am I? That is yet to be determined. That is. <laughs> <laughs> I am Francis Dick. I come from the Buskamaut Zaudeno tribe, Kikamilet, originally. Um, my father comes from the Wolf Clan. We always follow, follow our father's side. So I always identify myself from coming from Powered Elka, the first wolf of Kinkum, which was the very first serigraph I ever did for my grandmother. Or I could go, Nugwa'am, Kishilis, Gayu Klenla, Musbach Zaurenok, Hemen Umpi Kwaksista, Hemen Adumpi Gokwilag. My life. My journey through life, um, sharing my uh, inspiration, sharing my darkness, and transforming your darkness into light. Absolutely. The serigraphs I love. I mean, the serigraphs I started out and I, telling my story uh, of my history and where, where I have come from where I've journeyed, what I've journeyed through. The serigraphs have traveled the world um, and I've had incredible feedback, you know, with my serigraphs because it tells a story of who I am and it tells a story of how I see the world, how I see me, and how I've lived through my life and I've transformed things and how I keep excavating within myself to find alchemy, to, to, to change the darkness into light, to, to change the muck and mire of my life into gold and platinum. The portraits are really special to me because it's seeing people. To, to be able to see somebody is amazing. I don't think people really see people, you know, like we glance, and, you know, but to really see somebody's essence in their light, I think is extraordinary. I have this incredible body of work of people that I've got to meet throughout the years, eight years I've been downtown, especially through the music scene, and I just wanted to raise them up. Raising up musicians is so important to me because it's such hard work. It's like being an artist, like a graphic artist, right? It's like you don't get the support that I think you really should have in this world. There was one time that I decided that I should just like do jewelry and I will just mass produce jewelry because I have a relative, like many relatives who do that. And I, I, I couldn't, I, I, I might as well be selling shoes. I have to have my heart and my soul into everything that I create. And I get bored with one medium. So I have to move always from one medium to the next. And if you're an artist, I mean, you could put pencil to paper and create a design, you can apply that to anything. So I'm not really that prolific. I'm just like, well, it's common sense. Well, I could do this. Perhaps I could put it on this, that, that, or that. And it makes me look like, whoa, prolific. Well, maybe, maybe it is. I'm just, I get bored. Healing? <sighs> what the f healing. What does that mean? For me, it's about embracing like the shadows within and the shadows without and the light within and the light without. It's that simple, really. It's easy to say, but it's really hard to do on a daily basis, one moment to the next. Everybody's journey is their journey. and Everybody finds their own way. For me, I have found a way to express myself through art and I never ever intended to be an artist. I didn't consider myself as an artist, really. Um, but I create these things, these images that are, I think, Nikki Neff, she's so beautiful. You know, she's a beautiful human being. This guitar is incredible. My friend Glenn Taylor, like he does the bodies. He puts them all together, like piece by piece. But it's, express, it's expressing and, and connecting with spirit, I think, with self. Everybody talks about what needs to happen out here in the world. Really, what needs to happen is stuff in here before, right? So that, that, that's what my work, I think, really is about, at least for me. And the fact that I'm able to sell my work and live as an artist is, artist is pretty incredible.
it's like daily meditation where when I sit down and I create, I often have a vision not in my mind but in my body and it comes in my head and I will create that, whatever I'm feeling. And how that happens, I don't know. I just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. The insanity of me. <laughs>